Welcome back everyone. So this week's review is going to be Lutia Covenant. So let's dive right in. Play as a lady named Alicia, who is an agent of the church sent to investigate some evils that's going on and your hunch is true. You see a demon wreaking havoc and you now have to stop her. Eventually you do stop her, but she hints that something bigger is coming this way. However, it ends on a cliffhanger. Fucking cliffhanger piece of shit. So, yeah, that's pretty much the story. It's pretty basic, but, but the game itself is really, really short, believe it or not. The presentation in this game is a lot like, um, well, it's fairly basic. It's what you expect from a fantasy game. Orcs, goblins, the likes. The environments are also really basic. Graveyards, forests, renegade camps, all that shit. The animations are fairly passable. They're nothing too bad, but nothing too spectacular either. So goes the CGs as well. Now the gameplay, I was fairly surprised because the game is not a platformer, by the footage you're probably seeing here, it's a beat-em-up. So yeah, this game is a beat-em-up like Final Fight or the obligatory Golden X reference. <laughs> by my balls, girl! The controls and the hitboxes are fairly okay. They're passable once again. That's all I can say about this. It's passable. However, when it comes to a, a beat-em-up, it means it has its fair share of beat-em-up bullshit. It's about what you expect from this type of stuff. It means one of those things if you're not careful, you will get jumped. This game also has an RPG system. At the end of each stage, you can level up Alicia to have additional stats. At the, also, at the end of each stage, when you see the map, there's an AP gauge. You add that AP gauge to add to your attack, defense, or your magic defense or magic attack. So you can effectively build those the more tanky your enemies. Uh, sorry, I've been playing a lot of AD2. You're up against the wall, and I am the fucking wall! So during a stage, at the end of each screen, you get to have three options. It can either help or hinder you. It's up to you what you decide. Overall, this game is extremely short, but really fun to play. And that's all it is. I would much rather have that than, you know, be long and fucking frustrating. So, if you want a game, I say give it a shot. So, this week's Patreon shoutout goes to Jack Otto. He's making a game where you play as a fantasy innkeeper and you interact with some of the many inhabitants. Think of it as basically your isekai story, if that makes sense. So if you like that kind of game, I'll link it in the description below. Until then, good night and good luck.